Hey everyone, Fire Mac is back, and let's do this. Let's go see what's in the fridge. read it for the sake of reading it again oh cold that's just probably where I'm gonna get the blue key finally okay it's a refrigerator it's empty but it was just shaking just now oh okay I guess I stopped for no reason everybody entry number 21 I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. I notice how she doesn't capitalize anything anymore. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. And it was freaking me out. Oh god. It's part snow drake, I can tell you that much. It's so cold. I'm a gamete. Oh no. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a joke, man. I tell a bad pun about snow. Expression starts to shift. Haha, <laughs> I re remember. What, oh, that was it? Laugh, you laugh. And keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? S snowy? It's not really fighting me. Check. Negative 12, negative 5. Seems like it's losing itself. Snowy. This is creepy and sad. Joke! Her expression chases more. Haha, <laughs> thank you! Alright, I guess I'm gonna keep joking then. Just completely calm down. That was weird. That was straight up weird. I feel kind of sad. This is shaking again. But it's... Why is it shaking? I just realized I can actually walk behind those. Alright, let's go put in the blue key. Realize this is going to be a long walk. Now, is it me or is the human kind of chubby? Because you don't notice it until you like go walk this way. It's kind of a little chubby, chubby. A little chubby kid. Maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just the way the sprite is. Click! Alright, so we only have one more key to go for, right? Right? Because we got the yellow one, we got a green key. Wait, no, we got all the keys. I just haven't put it in the green key. Which I believe I just probably just walked past. So I'm probably making this really obnoxiously long path even more obnoxious because I probably made an extra trip for no other reason. And I was right. <laughs> There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. Click. It fits in perfectly. All right, it's all of them, and I was correct. I didn't. I shouldn't have made that long trip. All right. I'm assuming we're reaching the end of this this journey into this madness of a creepy ass lab with ghosts. I'm assuming those are all the monsters they were talking about. It's even sadder when you think about it. These were all monsters that were gonna die, but didn't die. 
and then something weird happened. Which I'm assuming that's what these monsters are. They're the misshapen lab uh, experiments. Just in case. Save. Yes, yeah, so we'll buy some chips. So you see it says chips. Potato chips. Heal 13. Rather off the tail chisps. Buy another one. What? What? It seems like another elevator has lost. Seems like another has lost its power. Yeah, I was about to say, because there's like two paths here. Oh. Nothing seems to be turned off. Turned off. What we got, what we got? Heart with a very sad face on it. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Yeah. And I see the face. Oh. Oh no. 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 Hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had, and... Anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were the one... You were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. B but I appreciate that you came back... You came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because these guys are because these guys are anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh I I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of Determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what, physically, what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all the test subjects had melted together into those seeing them like this I knew I couldn't tell their families about it I couldn't tell anyone about it no matter how much everyone was asking me and I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been a horrible failure but now now I've changed my mind about all of this I'm going to tell everyone what I've done It's going to be hard, being honest. Alright, back. Uh, before I continue the, my little story here, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys heard all those dog noises in the background. Kinda had to stop, cause uh, I might have to stop again. Cause I don't know, my dog was having a little sneezing fit, and you know, I don't know what's up. Alright, let's get back into the story, shall we? And uh... If you hear any unsudden cuts, you'll know why. Alright. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Part has been turned on. Oh, it's a smiley face. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. 
It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Oh, she's the one that made Flowey become a thing. Entry number 18, The Flower's Gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Faria, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Faria, see you soon. Oh. That's scary. Doors jammed shut with vines. It's brought me here. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's brought me back here. It's okay, I guess I'm on the road to beat the game again. I wasn't quite expecting all this. Okay. A voice I've never heard before. I should probably, just, just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go down here. Just wanna, just wanna see what's up with this. Just wanna see what's up with this. No, this is still the same. All right. Come on, fire ya. I'm gonna go. Guess we're on our way to beat the game again. Mm. With even less healing items now. Okay. Alright, Asgore. I guess we're doing this. Oh, back so soon? How are you feeling? I guess I'm ready, buddy. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Not looking forward to doing this again. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. Okay, this is slightly different, isn't it? It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. No, this no. I remember that. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What's that? Whoa! It's Toriel. What a miserable creature, torching such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I. Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, I would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take her, take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back! Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. 
if you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from humans, then came come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because she would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a m miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? Sai. No, Asgore. Nigga! Asgore! Human! Nobody fight! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll. I'll. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? And it's nice to meet. It's nice. <clears throat> it is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <coughs> oh, they broke up. That's kind of sad. Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey, nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There, there's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Gundine for help. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Hello! I think we may... know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. <clears throat> I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name Sans. I mean... The name Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. Excuse me. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! And this is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shing... Shingles! I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undine's totally right about that fish thing. S sometimes you got just got to uh, s stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just just get to know a really cute fish. <laughs> it's it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh, oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alfies? Uh, Alfies? No, he's right. Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess? If you want to, then don't hold back. Don't hit anything back. Oh, they're about to smooch. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> Ooh, wait, not in front of the human. Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. He he he. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking all. At all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, 
th that reminds me. Pyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? 